Hi, witches. It's Kara and Shannon. Hi. And obviously you don't see us right now. We're off screen. We just wanted to, um, we're going to do a video and just talk about basic altar setup and the different things that you can use for that. Yeah. So what you're looking at right now is my personal altar. It changes with the seasons, but this is how it's set up right now. And I'm just going to go over, you know, what I have in the different directions and what, uh, why don't we real quick, and I mean, this isn't this isn't probably not going to be a video for seasoned witches, so you might want to just skip this one because this is very basic, very just traditional altar setup. So can we just really quick for everybody who's who's not really sure about this, go through the directions and what element they're associated with? Yeah. Starting with, let's start with east. Okay. So east is air. Okay. Um, it represents spring, the yep. spring part of the wheel of the year, and um, it represents um, beginnings, new yep. ideas, things like that. Okay. Um, south represents fire and summer, right? Mm -hmm. West represents water, and north represents earth. Correct. Or, you know, ground, whatever. Yep, and winter. Winter, yes. Yep. I'm sorry. Oh, and I, I'm sorry. West is water and autumn. I'm Correct. so sorry. Yeah. So All just right. think of it as a clock. Yeah. So what I have, um, we'll start with east. Um, so in the east right here, this is my what would be facing east from my apartment. I have a bowl with incense in it. And so that is for representing air. And I also keep um, a stick of cinnamon and some cedar, which I sometimes use those to sage too. So the smoke from those will represent air. And I also have a rattle in, in the east. And the sound to me carries through air, so that represents air. And then moving into the south, I have my candle representing the south of fire and matches. And I also have a piece of lava stone for fire and more cinnamon because who doesn't love cinnamon? But I just think mm -hmm. of it spicy and I think of it as that that summer passionate thing, that the heat of it. Nice. Yep. And then I'll move around here. Over here we have west. And in the west we represent with water. So I have a chalice that I will put water in. I don't have any in there right now, but I'll have water in there um, when I make an offering. And then I have my um, essential oil diffuser, which adds a nice little touch, I think, personally, for um, for the water. And then so I have the steam from it. Is the what, steam yeah. is the okay. water. Yep. And then I have um, a little bottle of moon water that I charge in the with the full moon. And then moving to the north, I have a bowl of bones, because who doesn't want bones? A bowl of bones sitting around in their apartment, and some dill. So plants, bones are good. And I have also a vial of, this is actually cemetery earth, but earth in general, to represent the north. Now in the center, I, for the fifth point, of, if you are traditional in that way, and use the pentagram, pentacle, either way, uh, spirit. And for spirit, I use a candle, and I also have, I don't know if you can see them in there, probably not, I don't want to tip it and spill wax, but I have coins to represent spirit, and then I also have a couple of crystals that um, to me are, I don't know, I have a, a lot of crystals, but I don't really work with them closely, but I have um, a black obsidian, and I honestly don't even know what the name of this is, but I got it, um, and it's supposed to be particular to manifestation, so I keep that in there. And then I have right here is an owl made of soapstone, and that is my spirit animal. So, and then this candle over here is just, I just have that there. If I'm doing an actual spell, I'll have that off to the side. Cool. So that's what I do. All right. So then I am going to go through a few things and just show you some alternatives um, that you could use for the different um, directions. And let me just first start too by saying, 
Shannon does not um, typically use an altar cloth. I have an altar cloth on my altar at home, but if you don't and you, um, like if you want one in a pinch or whatever, this is a scarf that I got at the Dollar Tree during Halloween. Any scarf will do, anything that you see that you're kind of drawn to, a piece of fabric, um, a blanket, a pillowcase, anything that you are attached to that you're drawn to could really, <clears throat> you know, be used as an altar cloth. So I am going to start in the east. And the only other thing I was thinking of to represent air uh, are, you know, feathers, ethically sourced, of course. Um, and you have to be, you do have to be careful because there are some animals, um, some birds and stuff in particular that are on lists. Um, I'm not even sure, but Eagles. stuff like that, you know, you're not, you're really not even supposed to have this. I just found on the ground somewhere, I'm sure. Um, that's east for air. Moving to south for um, summer and fire. I have, I save ash um, from when I um, burn just like herbs and things um, for spells and stuff. I will, some of, sometimes I save it. And I will add this to salt to make my own black salt. But I think that's also a representative of fire because it's, you know, residue from fire. Um, you could also use, you can get these charcoal discs. Um, I use these to burn herbs in. You can use that to represent fire. Fireball, whiskey, you could use to represent fire. And then we're going to move into the west, which is autumn and water. Um, Florida water. This Florida water in particular is um, courtesy of Tammy, the tea witch, herbal key apothecary. Um, she's in our group on Facebook. You guys, she has really amazing Florida water. Um, that I will set in my west to represent water. And I just made myself some rose water out of rose petals that you could also use. Um, <clears throat> north, earth, any interesting rocks you find. Uh, my kid actually brought me this birch bark the other day and said, Mom, can you use this for your witchy stuff? And I'm like, yes, of course I can. And the other thing I thought of, um, Michelle made us some plantain salve um, and brought that to us when she was here with us last month. And I thought, I'm not, I know this isn't something that people typically have laying around, but I also thought that this would be a great represent, representation of earth because the plantain obviously was from the earth um, and I just thought that would be a great representation. Now, for spirit, um, Shell also made me call the spirit oil, which um, was especially useful during our Samhain um, things that we did. But I thought, you know, just setting that on my altar is good and representative of spirit. I have my spirit animal. Um, this is a raven's skull, but it's made out of a really cool crystal. Um, I also have pendulum, I think, um, which to me, pendulum is really, you know, it's moved by spirit. So I think that's a really great representation of spirit. And last but not least, and I was just talking to my sister about this, I grabbed this on my way over because I'm like, there's something about a key to me that would represent spirit. And my sister basically said, oh, I said, yeah, it's a key to unlock your higher self, your higher self and to connect with the spirit to, world, to connect with spirit. So there you have it. That is our recommend. I mean, just ideas. It's ideas. Again, which do you? Um, but ideas for a traditional altar setting. Um, we hope you enjoyed this. And Shannon, and I, th we, I don't know if she's going to do this one on her own or if we're going to do it together, but we are going to make another um, video on altars, traveling, things, ideas um, to have for traveling altars. Like if you're going on a trip and you are just somebody who likes to have one set up wherever you go. Um, or an altar basically made out of kind of one item, how you can represent 
all four or five, um, <clears throat> you know, directions in spirit out of one item. Well, kind of one item, but you'll see what it is. Okay. Thanks for joining us and we hope you enjoy it. We'll see you soon. Bye, witches.